It's the physical stuff. It's all the same. How can you tell? Oh, no, you can tell. Take Brian and I. At first, we made love, and then we had sex. Now we don't do anything. Don't? Hey. Excuse me. I forgot this in the car. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Oh, listen, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't... I really don't mean to make you late, but I, I was just, um... The test about, results yes, came back from the lab late yesterday. I was gonna call you today. Uh-huh. So whoever you had intercourse with didn't leave you with anything. You're perfectly healthy. Can you see that? I feel the problem. Who is that? I don't know. What are they talking about? I don't know. I've got to go now. Of course, I'm sorry. Uh, thanks so much. I wanted to ask you, if things are so bad between you and Brian, why don't you just... Why do you stay married? I don't know. Habit? But look, it, we're not saying that you shouldn't trust your intuition or anything. But you've got to talk to Richard. Like, talking to us really doesn't do anything. you got to talk to him. Yeah, I agree. I didn't know you knew Dr. Owen. Oh, she's on, um, Oliver's curling team. Yeah, maybe she was your doctor. No, no, she said, uh, is, is Brian going to be home later tonight? Uh, no. Yeah, actually, he's, uh, he's casting his, uh, his pilot series all week. Why? What's wrong? Nothing. It's just that. I think now I need a male perspective on something. What about Oliver? <laughs> That's who I need the guy's perspective on. Well, I'm sure he wouldn't mind if you dropped by. Do you want me to give you the address? Sure. Like they should cast the first stone. How about, how about that Lindbergh? Lindbergh. He, he's doing it for profit. It's not like one weak moment. You know that. You know that. What does it matter? It shouldn't, but it does. You know what I mean. I mean, why should I keep on paying and paying and paying? It's people like Lindbergh and this Myers Broad should be paying. And all the thieving, fornicating scum out there, they should be paying us, not the decent, upstanding, tax-paying citizen. Who are we working for? You ever think about that, Theo? I mean, really thought about it? Thank you. Brian, there's a lady here to see you. Rev. What did you think of the last guy? <laughs> Do you think that I should tell Oliver that I'm having an affair? Oliver? It's probably better not to tell him. <sighs> I don't know. Listen, I've got to tell you something. When Mitra and I got married, I loved her so much that I don't know. I was so insecure about whether or not I could, you know. No. Give her an orgasm. I had this idea in my head that some guy would come along and take her away from me. And I can't stand that. I thought that if I let her have affairs and do what she wants, that she would stay with me. 
Mm. That's an interesting bit of logic. Yeah. Every time she goes with somebody, it kills me. That's between us, okay? Of course. You mean to tell me that Mitra doesn't know about this? I'm afraid if she did, she'd divorce him. Brian, sorry. They need you back in. Parents went down south for Christmas. Yeah, they go every year. I've got relatives in Georgia. Well, you know how they celebrate Christmas down there, don't you? And they gather around the Christmas tree in their KKK uniforms and sing, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. <laughs> Just like the... They do not. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you something. Remember the other day you were saying faithfulness is obsolete? You don't believe that, do you? Look. Don't tell Brian I said this, okay? Okay. The only reason I agreed to an open marriage is because I thought I'd lose Brian if I didn't. I thought he wouldn't marry me if I didn't go along with it. I don't know if I can take much more of this. It's not the marriage I wanted. Oh, if you were my wife, I wouldn't share you with anyone. It's so sweet. I didn't know that. I don't understand Portia and Richard, though. Let's just say we worked out an arrangement. Uh-huh. An agreement. Uh, compromise. Oh, well, which kind of compromise? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. We, we worked it out. We settled it. Uh-huh. And you are absolutely sure that Richard is not going to pull something like that again on you? He got the life scared out of him at the bar the other night. He's not going to chance that again. And what's he going to do? Have anonymous sex with some strange man in a sleazy motel room? Dude, you never told me your name. <laughs> 